Hi everyone, Alex with you. In this video I will show you how to change the pivot point on an object in 3ds Max. First off, what is a pivot point? Each object has a pivot point either in the center or at the bottom of the object. For example, how to see a reference point on a sphere. When I select it, if we look at the intersection of the guides, this center is the pivot point. For the sphere, it is now located exactly in the middle of the object. That is, any interactions with this object come from this center. The box has a pivot point at the bottom. That is, all manipulations occur from this lower point. This will be very noticeable if you turn the object over. I'll take the rotation tool, hotkey E, and try to flip the object. It can be seen that the object seems to be rotating around this pivot point. Because if, for example, I take a sphere and try to turn it over, it will rotate around the middle and we'll faintly see how the sphere turns over. The teapot has the same situation. The pivot point is in the bottom end. If I flip the object, it will rotate around the pivot point. Which is generally quite interesting and convenient. But what to do if you still need to change the pivot point? For example, add the kettle. For convenience, I will remove unnecessary objects. I'll just leave the teapot. And I want it, for example, to imitate pouring tea into a cup. To do this, I'll quickly create some kind of cup. I'll copy the teapot, make it smaller and turn off the unnecessary in the object settings. I want to make an imitation on this teapot pouring tea into a cup. I take the teapot and turn it over. But this is what happens. It rotates around the bottom of itself and because of this there is no simulation of pouring. Because in order for the teapot to pour something it must rotate around its spout. To fix this you need to go to edit the pivot point. You can get here through the command panel and the hierarchy tab. This is the third tab at the top of the command panel. I switch here and we're only interested a few buttons here. In order to be able to change the pivot point, I'll grab the move tool for convenience. And here there is the very first button effect pivot only. That is influence only the pivot point. If you activate this button, these six arrows appear that show that I am now influence the pivot point and they can move this pivot point. For example, here on the nose, it can be seen that the teapot does not move, but the pivot point moves. Once I've changed the position, I can disable this button. Grab the rotation tool, hotkey E and try to rotate. Great. That is, what I need is already happening. I can move the kettle a little closer and thus imitate pouring water or tea into a cup by changing the pivot point. Another useful button is the effect object only button. If activated and move it, the object moves, but the pivot point remains in place. That is, in this way I can correct the arrangement of elements in reverse order. Also, by clicking Effect Pivot Only, several additional buttons are activated here. Central Pivot will allow you to automatically place a reference point exactly in the middle of the object. I press. Here it is exactly in the center of the object. There is also a useful Reset Pivot button. If I press it, it will reset the current position and set it to the original point of this object, which can be useful if you made a mistake and want to correct what you did wrong. That's probably all. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel, because it will only get more interesting.